The year is 2020. The coronavirus is killing thousands of people. Nations' economies buckle under the stress of this terror. And PETA is telling us how to play video games. Greetings, fellow humanoids and synthoids. It is I, Nihilistic Nerd. And today, we're going to talk about... Uh, PETA's lovely Animal Crossing article. So, uh, this is, uh, pretty much what this article is. This is an article about how to be vegan on Animal Crossing. And, um, there's a couple issues with that, and, um, I'm gonna go over the key ones, and, like, some of the cringier aspects of this article. So, first off, they're asking, can you fish in Animal Crossing? Because it's, uh, is it, is it vegan enough? No, it, it's not vegan enough, because fish feel pain. And, uh, apparently polygonal animals really matter. Um, so yeah. They're, uh, they're talking about how it's harmful in real life. And yes, there are some harmful parts about it, like, you know, overfishing. But yeah, no, not really something that matters. Next up they have, is it okay to catch bugs in Animal Crossing? To be honest, I had no idea that, uh, PETA had a hard-on for bugs. So that's kind of interesting. But apparently they're saying that you can't, uh, you can't catch bugs in Animal Crossing because it's not vegan. It, it's ant- it, it's animal abuse. It's animal abuse to catch bugs. So, uh, another thing that I found on this article that I really appreciate is their inability to do this right. What would a vegan eat on a desert island? It's a deserted island, not a desert island. Okay. Oh my god. Guys, proofread your articles. Otherwise, you look like an idiot. Also, you should probably fire your editor, because on a desert island, and it would be a deserted island, my friends. Yeah, that's something I really, really like about this, is that they can't do their stuff right. And I appreciate when journalists can't do their jobs, and the editors can't do the part of the job that the journalists can't do themselves. I love it, don't you? So, uh, one of one of the glaring issues with the article that I found that I kind of, uh, I appreciate the mo- one of, one of the ones I appreciate the most for the sheer irony is the, should I build a dog house? And it says, right now, countless dogs are constrained outdoors in all weather conditions with chains, just like the one pictured here. Yes, the digital, ch- the digital chains, the digital chains for the digital dog, that isn't even there. And it goes on about how they're deprived and all that stuff. And it's like, aren't you the the organization that, like, euthanized a bunch of dogs for no valid reason? Okay. This is a bit of a one-two punch because not only was the uh, one above slightly hypocritical, this one is just in bad taste when you put this picture in here. Tom Nook is a tanuki or raccoon who are often killed for their furs. Others like him in the real world are beaten, anally electrocuted, gassed, or skinned alive. Cut him some slack. Yes, let's cut an extortionist slack. Let's cut the slave driver slack because he had a hard day. If I was African American, I would be offended that they put me in that picture. Yeah, thanks, PETA. Thanks, you're making us all look friggin' terrible. So this last part of the article we're going to review is uh, my favorite because it really shows how much they neuter the game if you play the game as a fundamental traditional vegan. What can you do? You can have a bonfire. You know, that's fun. I want to play with my uh, my friends at a bonfire and literally sit there doing nothing. And play music under the stars. Yeah, you know, that might be cool for a photo op, but other than that, I won't enjoy it. The secret beach is cool, I guess. I guess. And sitting back, so pretty much you basically rendered the majority of the game uh, meaningless because you can't do the core, at, you know, the core activities, which is fishing, bug catching, and collecting stuff. Animal Crossing is a sandbox game at heart, which means you get what you put in. If you can't fish, you can't bug catch, and you can't collect certain things. You're neutering the experience. That's like a good portion of the game down the drain because of a a, 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 a diet ideology. Well, an animal rights ideology that won't affect anything in the video game. So I guess uh, I, I guess that's PETA for you. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today. 
Um, I will catch you later. You can always subscribe to me if you're a if, if you're a masochist, or you can you know hit up my uh, social medias. Catch you guys later. I'll read another really crappy article. <laughs>